Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and if you feel like you just missed the 777 portal on July 7th of 2023, hey, you're in for a treat. We are about to enter another portal, July 16th of 2023. And I want to share with you what you should be preparing for and what you should be doing. So if you want to know what to do during the next 777 portal, watch this video all the way to the end. But if you're new to this channel, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives all types of manifesting techniques all in one place. So if you want to support us, don't forget, like, subscribe, tap the bell, and watch the next video. I'm back everyone. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about this 777 portal? Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Yvette, you just did a video on 777 portal for July 7th of 2023. Yes, I did. If you want to watch that video, it is in the description. What makes this day a little different? For one, it's not falling on a Friday. This time it's falling on a Sunday. Other than that, it's falling on the waning moon. Ha ha. And the numbers that make up the 777 is different. What I want to reach out to you first to make sure you understand that this day, the 777 portal, is not a day of going out using manifesting techniques like bay leaves and all these other things that you might be trying to do. I'm not trying to tell you that you don't that you can't do it. This is more of a day of staying to yourself. This is a day of getting in alignment with yourself. Now you're probably saying, Yvette, that sounds boring. Well, listen, if you watch this channel here, you would know already when I speak about manifesting, everything comes from within. So if you're not working on your inner self, getting in alignment with who you are, you will absolutely find it difficult to manifest whatever it is you want in your life. I don't care if it's love, relationships, a house, a car, money. If you're not in tune and in alignment with who you are, you're going to find it difficult to manifest anything. The 777 portal is that time for you to spiritually get in alignment with who you are. A lot of people, once you get in alignment, you will start seeing things manifesting in your life. This is a time to be by yourself, okay? If you're in a relationship, maybe the two of you to be by yourselves instead of having a group of people around you. Listen, this is, again, I'm not telling you to be alone for the next couple of days. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm basically telling you, find some time, some me time, to basically concentrate on yourself to see what it is you're trying to do in your life. Now, the first 777 fell on a Friday, and it was more for relationships, building relationships, and it still is. It's about getting into alignment with yourself so that you can have these special things. This time it falls on a Sunday. Now listen, Sunday is one of my best days. It doesn't matter what it is you're trying to create in your life. Sunday is for ambition, it's for motivation, it's for whatever it is you want in life and it will happen. Now because 716 2023 is a Sunday this year, this is a time to get in alignment with whatever it is you're trying to create in your life. If it's that business, if it's that house, if it's that car, you need to sit back and say, what is it that I truly want in life? What is it that would make me happy? What is it that would bring me in alignment with who I am? Am I supposed to write that book? Am I supposed to start that business? Am I supposed to be a better, better mother or a better father? Whatever it is you're supposed to be doing, now is the time on July 16 to come in alignment, to take a walk, to do meditation, to do prayer work, to find out where it is you're supposed to be in this lifetime and what is it you're supposed to be doing. It is just that simple. 
Now, be because it's falling on a waning moon, the waning moon, as we know, is for release. This falls in at the perfect time, everyone, because this is what we want to do during the 777. We want to release whatever it is that could be holding us back, whatever it is that is no longer for us. If you're in that relationship and you know it's wrong, it's time to let it go. If you're at that job, I'm not telling you to leave that job. I'm telling you to realize who you are and start taking action steps towards your dreams, towards what it is you're supposed to be doing in life. Hey, look, if you're supposed to write that book, now is the time to sign up for a book writing course. Now is the time. Now, listen, again, this is a time for you, for yourself to sit back, to meditate, to do prayer work, to find where it is you're supposed to be and come into alignment with that. This is important, you guys, because not only is this day falling on a Sunday, but it's also falling on a waning moon, which is the moon up cycle for release. So again, you can't manifest anything in your life unless you get into alignment with who you are until you release whatever it is in your life that should not be there. So if you guys are understanding what I'm saying, you guys will manifest whatever it is in your life. Now we're going to take this a little further. Not only is July 16, 2023 on a Sunday, on a wax, a waning moon, but it is the last day of the waning moon. The next day is the new moon, everyone. And this is basically taking you into planting the seeds for whatever it is you want. So for July 16th, you are basically coming in alignment with who you are. July 17th, you can move on and start planting the seeds for whatever it is you said on the 16th. That's why I love this day. This day is going from a waning moon to the next day being a new moon. And it falls perfectly for anyone that's trying to start something, trying to do something, and trying to create a better life. That's all it is. And I'm loving it. Now, before I get ready to go, let me break down to you what I would do on this day. Sunday, again, is a day of growth. It's a day of motivation, ambition, or whatever it is you want to manifest in your life. This is the time I might was get up at 7 in the morning or at 7 at night, keeping it around the 7 times, 7s, okay? And I might would do prayer work. I might sit in peace and quiet. I might take an early walk or a late walk and just be safe, everyone. And I might then speak to my guardian angels, my archangels, or my spiritual guides. I might speak to my higher self and say to myself, what is it that I want in life? Where is it that I find myself to be? And then move from there. I might also say, what is it that I don't need in my life or no longer need in my life to let that go? The next day is the new moon. And I might open it up and say, now it's time for me to take action and start planting seeds for whatever it is that I want. You see how it just flows? And when you're flowing with life, things get easier. Things come to you out of the blue and you start opening up to whatever it is that you want. Now, I will give you guys this tip. If spending time to yourself, getting in alignment with who you are, involves scripting, affirmation, mirror work, everyone, to release whatever it is, go right ahead and do it because it's part of your ritual to get in alignment with who you are. So there's nothing wrong with that. Meditation, prayer work, mirror work would be my go-to on these days. And let me tell you, some of you will see results the next day. Some of you might see results the next week. Some of you might take a little longer because of all the yuck that you done built up over the years. But if you start working on getting yourself in alignment with who you are, you will start to see the doors open for yourself. Listen, don't forget, the 777 portal is about spirituality, everyone. It's about getting in there and doing whatever it is to commune with your higher self, commune with your supreme being. This is the time. And remember, you guys, everything comes from within. And within you is the supreme being, 
is your higher self, is your true self. So this is the time to say, I love you, Yvette. What is it that God has for us moving forward? What is it that my life is about to go into? And that's all it is. And because you did this, because you put this groundwork out there, you will see your life change. So if you're wanting to know, Yvette, what is it I'm supposed to be doing July 16th of 2023? I just told you. Remember, the one in the 16th is for independence. It's for um, taking the leap forward. The six is material things, getting in alignment with who you are so that you can manifest whatever it is that you want. The multiple twos, it's all about having faith and belief and being balanced. The seven, again, it's a lucky number, a number of abundance, but it's also a number of coming into oneness, coming into alignment. So again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell. If you want to do me a big favor, watch the next video. If you want to see the first video on 777, watch the video at the end or look in the description. It's all there for you. And listen, namaste.